struggle continues for parents, students, teachers going to school during a pandemic. For, for some, some, virtual school is a breeze. For others, though, it's far from it. And as report cards come in, the letter F is becoming more common. News 4 Tucson Dolly Potter explains why and what's being done to fix it. Kids who are normally AB kids, but are now CD kids. And so, you know, something is wrong. If your child is in the Tucson Unified School District, you've seen this letter. Your student may have faced challenges during TUSD's remote learning, and their academic grades may not be reflective of their previous achievements. So why is this? From a teacher's perspective. Well, on the one hand, you know, yeah, the teachers are frustrated because, gee, I, I gave you this time and you still didn't do it. Um, and then you have the kid who's like, but, and the kid and the parent who are like, well, but yeah, um, but there's all these other things going on in my life. And from a psychologist's perspective. Anxiety and, and depression um, are two things we're seeing. Dr. Sherry Fahman says what takes place inside the home can do damage to a child mentally and educationally. For example, a toxic environment, parents struggling to pay bills, or just the pandemic taking a toll on them. We think that they're not aware of things and we'll just talk quietly and they don't get it. Well, they're much smarter than we give them credit for. So how do you try to fix this? We need to give those kids um, some, some other options or we need to give their teachers another option. The solution, temporary grading options. Let's say that they're at 58%. Uh, so that's an F. Most teachers that I know of might look at that 58%, might look at the effort the child made throughout the year and say, you know, I'm going to go ahead and give them a D. Now teachers can give students an I or P. I would be incomplete. My understanding is that they would have to make up a certain amount of work in a certain amount of time. That is all agreed upon between the teacher and the student and the parents. And then if they do all of those things, they can better their grade, they can get a passing grade. Teachers say they feel the grading system will help their students succeed during these challenging times.